the biggest thing in Australia that perhaps there'd ever been. There was a lot more to Brock. You could see the hunger, the naked ambition to be number one. Behind the wheel, he seemed to be almost bulletproof. I think that Peter never quite understood how natural that talent was. Like, he was just in his own little world in the zone. Brock could just get in anything and drive it. There was only one race worth winning, and that was Bathurst. He drove a skinny little Tirana XU1 to victory in the West, and that was the real beginning of the Brock legend. Peter and I were always very like this. Do, do, do. Now, I know you make your own luck, but uh, certainly a lot of it went his way. But there were also some, some obvious dark sides as well. He so desperately wanted to be famous. He really wanted to be loved and acknowledged. The bit that totally shocked me was his vulnerability. I don't think anyone could control Brock. I don't think Brock could control himself, frankly. Didn't diminish what he'd achieved. Didn't diminish his record. First man ever to lead the race from go to work. I just get behind the wheel of that car and I'm doing, I know, what I can do best. He could do no wrong. He was the messiah of motorsport. The rise and fall and rise and fall and rise and fall of Peter Brock. <laughs>